Hey everyone, welcome back to another Take 5 podcast. James Hilliard here, Tony Dancona with us, the VP for VMware EUC with PC Connection. Here to talk to us about VMware end user computing and how it can drive costs and complexity out of your data center. And that's truly what we want. Tony, glad to have you on board today. Thanks, James. I'm glad to be here. EUC and VDI. Let's talk about those two things. What is the difference between EUC and VDI? So VDI really is a virtual desktop, and it's really solving one use case for that well-connected user that's in an office, Um, and it's a great solution. But end-user computing is a more broader thing that solves a lot of other problems, like the disconnected user or the traveler, and really a modern way of giving users the stuff they need in a browser-type marketplace. Let's start with VDI and what you see right now is some of the biggest challenges to VDI. Cost has been an issue, right? Everybody starts to think about what is cost, but a lot of that is perception because with VDI, we can do so much more than we could do with physical desktops and trying to manage those. But there's been a lot of things like vSAN allowing us to get to more and more stateless desktops is continually driving the cost per desktop down. And then we've got some other challenges. Uh, the application management is something else that you see as, as a challenge these days to VDI. We've been working with customers. VMware came out with great technology in their thin app or the ability to virtualize applications. It only addressed a subset of the applications. There were still a lot of applications when we went out and assessed our customers that were not able to be virtualized with thin app. They've come out with a new product, App Volumes, which is one of those wow things. When I show customers how App Volume works, it's really, truly revolutionary. And it's about the ability to inject an application stack into my virtual desktop with the applications that I need. And it doesn't require any virtualization or any kind of magic in getting those applications in my application stack. And it just really is revolutionizing the way we're able to manage applications in that virtual environment. All right, so some challenges, but VMware definitely stepping up, bringing solutions out there. Let's jump over to uh, one of the issues that, I, that I've seen, want to know and, and what's changing here. Offline users, how are they managed in this evolving world? For years, every time we've gone to talk to customers and there's been lots of laptops and these travelers that are around, you know, we cringed a little bit on how to, how to work with those. Uh, but they have a great product now with Mirage, And what Mirage allows me to do is really transform the way we address those offline users. And the first thing that actually happens, which I love, once the Mirage agent goes into a laptop, is that we actually centralize or back up that entire laptop. So for once, we actually have a system that is very simple to back up all the files. And then just a brand new technology that allows me to push incremental updates, Um, applications while retaining all of the user settings, applications, and their files. So great new technology with Mirage for those offline users. Two other technologies I want you to hit on for us before we wrap things up. What is Workspace? And then there was an AirWatch acquisition that VMware made. What does that do to this whole equation? A user logs into Workspace, and now with any device that has browsers, They're going to get served up any SaaS applications, any content that they need to to, to be dealing with. They're going to be served up Zen app applications and RDS applications and virtual desktops, all from a marketplace with all single sign-on. Now, because we are able to now use almost any kind of device with a modern browser on there, The number of devices that are out there that can play in this space is just, you know, grown exponential. And then for the AirWatch acquisition, with all these devices that we're able to get into our workspace, um, managing those is, is great with this solution. The main piece is the same corporate container of uh, my applications and my content that I have in workspace, I can now have in my mobile devices. So my Androids, my iOSs. And if there's a problem with that, all I need to do is delete that corporate container and I leave that device intact. And then certainly AirWatch has the ability to to manage those devices 
like the old MDM stuff would do, but at a much higher level. So setting passwords and doing all the things you expect for mobile device management. Hey, Tony, good stuff, sir. Thank you for joining us here. And folks, if you want to discover why PC Connection and VMware are the perfect partners for your next virtualization project, then connect with the strongest VMware specialist in the country and achieve your goals on time and on budget. Beyond access to cutting-edge technologies, innovative solutions, and cost-saving strategies, you'll enjoy a level of customer service that's second to none. Watch our video series to learn how you can streamline your virtualization project from start to finish pcconnection.com slash vmware solutions you can join us online govconnection.com or you can reach out by phone 1-800-800-0019 if you'd like to email connect at pcconnection.com on behalf of tony dan kona i'm james hilliard thanks for joining us on this take five podcast